he said, um, yeah, I'd like you to review my book. I think it's a good book. And in fairness, I can't send it to you from Australia. It cost me far too much. So I send you the money, buy it in the UK, uh, off Amazon or wherever it was, and review it. So whatever we review, they know that we're not being paid by the person to tell us it's good when it might be a heap of rubbish. And that is the thing. We have credibility in the uh, podcast market. And I think that's one of our advantages. Um, probably I've gone off a long one, but yeah. You don't agree, Colin? No, I, I do. And um, I mean, again, it's even further than that. I mean, you know, we're now presenting. We had set up a, a special event station there. And a fellow was, uh, I, I visited the station one morning, and a fellow was standing there all by himself. So I went up and uh, introduced myself. And he says, he says, KB6NU, he says, I know you. I listen to you on the ICQ podcast. I recognized your voice. <laughs> and I thought that was, that was incredible. We had a nice chat after that about the podcast and all kinds of other stuff. But uh, that's what I enjoy the most is actually meeting the listeners. I, yeah. I tell a story and apologize if, if I've told this one recently. I, um, I was doing a sales meeting in Dublin a few years ago and I'm midway through the meeting and the guy's looking at me a bit sort of, you know, weird and sort of expression his face so he's not really fully listening to the things I'm talking to him about. And uh, he then says to me, I know your voice from somewhere. <laughs> and, and Dublin's two hours north of me, you know, it's not, you know.